one of the biggest challenges right now is keeping the equipment up and running during these extreme freezing temperatures. Look right here behind me. You can see RDOT crews right there. They're working to get that truck loaded up on the trailer and taken back to the shop so it can be worked on and hopefully fixed and back on the highways trying to plow the snows to clear the road. Now here in Fort Smith as well as all across the River Valley tonight, snow is covering many roads. Now the best ones seem to be the interstates where at least one lane is clear and the Arkansas the Department of Transportation District Engineer which covers the River Valley and parts of Northwest Arkansas says there's a reason they're treating interstates first. We want to make sure that our, our main travel thoroughfares, you know, we, we need fuel deliveries and salt deliveries for us. But yeah, our interstates trying to keep those open and, and trucks uh, able to move through and, and get groceries and, and things to people that need them. District 4 engineer Chad Adams says over the past decade, they've changed how they attack snow covered roads. Once the main routes are clear, then crews focus on secondary ones. Today, cars were sliding on snow along Highway 22 in Fort Smith, which is also Rogers Avenue. Tonight, it's better. Our approach was to to try to treat every road equally and, and try to get out and, and plow everything. That, that wasn't working. Adams says the extreme freeze is also taking a toll on the equipment. Diesel starts to gel in, in the engines and radiators are freezing up, uh, so the heater in the vehicle is, is somewhat ineffective. And then you have, uh, when that happens, you, you can't run the defroster to keep the windows clear. And keeping the trucks fueled up is another issue. Adam is hoping a new shipment of diesel arrives Tuesday. And if not, it's not, not normal for us. Uh, we, we normally have our own supply, but um, we obviously are going to keep things going. Uh, so if that means we have to buy from gas stations, then, then we'll do that. And again, you're looking at one of those trucks that they're having to load up and take back to the shop to hopefully get fixed. Now, Adam says the crews will work through the night until about four this morning. And then RDOT District 4 crews will take a break around four in the morning to make some much needed repairs like to this truck that's behind me. And then he says the main focus is to be ready for so crews can start first thing for the morning shift, which starts at eight tomorrow morning. And Adam says if the next round of window weather is anything like what we've already experienced, that it could be till this weekend until our highways are back to normal. Live in Fort Smith, Brett Rains, 4029 News.